some packing for our trip here. So you know we put a poll on our YouTube page and asked the fans if they wanted to see another video with you two? Yeah, you showed me some Behind of Behind the scenes? What were the statistics? Final vote was 89% wants to see it. 11% were wrong. Said no? Said no. But we'll just say they were wrong. <laughs> they clicked the wrong thing. They clicked, yes, they clicked the wrong button. Yeah. So uh, can we take along with you guys to Memphis? Walking in Memphis. Yes. Going to Memphis. Wearing our city uniforms. Anthony, say hi. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> What does Anthony do? Anthony, um, he, he runs the visiting side and he's, uh, he helps us with all of our day-to-day -day stuff, laundry and just whatever else needs to get done. So. He seems like a pretty critical part of the, of the, part the operation. Of the, big part of the equation for us, for sure. Yeah. So we start like we do the layers, um, the uh, uniforms, their game shorts, and then um, the game pants, the game top, and then the pregame stuff. So everything kind of gets rolled into a bundle. So when we get to the next city, we can um, you know put it on their chair, unroll it. And it just helps the process move a lot quicker than um, kind of passing everything out one by one. So another day. Prepping for a road trip, quickie. In and out in Memphis. Is it nice that it's just a one game trip? Um, one game trip, move a little easier just because there's less personal. Less personal, it's less baggage for us. We can kind of give, give and take some stuff that we don't need or, but uh, it's a little bit easier. It's still tough, the longer ones. There's a lot more stuff that goes into it, being luggage, personal luggage, uh, equipment, um, the trainers, medical stuff, strain stuff, all the nutrition bags. So the longer ones are a little more, a little more difficult, but we we find a way to get it done. What is that? Some Febreze. Why is that? Just to make it smell a little bit better in the bags. We put some Febreze and then. We put Dryer sheets. Okay, that's one I gotta do tomorrow. One of the most important things on the road, your BP baby. Keep Bobby happy. Keep Bobby in the Should we have everything before we head off? What's next? Um, what's next is a trip to the airport, unload everything, get on the plane, and we'll take off from Memphis. Best ground crew in the league. Helps us with our bags going onto the plane, and they'll be here tomorrow night when we land back from Memphis. Yeah, they put them all on and then they'll end up taking them all off. We'll help us take it off tomorrow night. And we usually sort it with uh, equipment on one side of the plane, personals on the other side. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Dolores.
Tripod. So we just uh, moved all the equipment from uh, the truck to the um, Memphis storage room because they have a concert tonight so we couldn't store our stuff in the locker room like we typically do. Um, thanks to our good friend Corey here. Thank you, buddy. No problem. And uh, tomorrow morning we'll come back before the team arrives and, um, and get, some, uh, get the bags where they need to go, most of them to the locker room. Uh, we'll set up the locker room during that time and, um, and get the shoes and the coaches back up to the uh, practice court for our optional shoot around tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Thanks. Did it, do you know um, what street ghosts live on? What street what? Ghosts, ghosts live on? Blue Avenue, I don't know. That was pretty good. <laughs> I like the Boulevard, Boulevard, but the real answer is dead, dead end. ends. <laughs> All right, guys, good morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Scotty, say hi. 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 Scotty. Me and Scotty. Tell everybody what that is that you're holding. What is that? Is that an iced tea? No, the other thing. We are here about 45 minutes before the first bus. And uh, this is what we typically do to get. Uh, all of the bags that we loaded into the Memphis equipment storage last night, where they need to go, and then we start setting up our locker room. Uh, but we'll just be ready for the team when they get here, rather than scramble. Uh, so we'll go up to the practice court and throw the shoes out, and, uh, and then just be there for whatever else the team needs, and then, and then Eric and I will come back down here and finish setting up the locker room for the game tonight. And, um, yeah, just organize our bags outside in the hallway and just get everything as best prepared for the game as long as we can. We need a table. How do you decide? Uh, just based off space, like some guys need more space than the others, and then who's kind of always, always talking with each other, who seems really close. We kind of have like a, a format, yes. but every locker room's got a little, it's always little a little different layout. So, hey, good morning. What's up? No, you're good. Take all their pregame stuff and pull it behind their chair, and then we hang all their stuff that they need for the game. Game theater, jersey, shorts, and then we have net bags with their compressions and we'll hang on. We have to dump all the jersey stuff. So, um, we usually have music going. I haven't gotten the speaker out of the bag yet. We usually have music going just to kind of breeze through the setup. But uh, me and Trav will also be the little DJs for pregame. We make the playlist for the players, usually what we hear them listening to or what they want. We'll throw that on for the game. So along with setting up, me and Trevor will also do kind of like little errands for the guys before games. Certain guys like certain things before games. Like Wesley will get a coffee. Um, Drew Holiday usually gets a green tea with some lemon and honey, and I usually write a little joke on it because he likes just like the humor of it. Like, um, why don't see uh, why do seagulls fly over the sea? Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be bagels. <laughs> some guys like Jordan. Bobby and a couple others will wear their jackets, some won't, so we just got to make sure we have extras just in case if the guys want them. Um, 
It always seems like the biggest thing, especially on a long road trip, is shoes. Um, just certain guys, like certain shoes with the jersey we might wear, or the type of occasion it is. Um, some guys are really easy with shoes, though, like Brooke Lopez might not switch his shoes the entire year, which is makes it easy on us. This is a runaround today. Name plate time. The finishing touch. The finishing touches. Oh, they don't have, oh, I see what happened. Yeah. Just so it looks more presentable. Did you explain why we do that? No, you want it? Okay, well, come follow me. Because the whole purpose of that is instead of putting jerseys on this side, when you walk in, it looks better. I mean, if you take the camera angle, see, it looks better. Rather than this, that's what everybody would see. This is the love and hate. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta look up. I was feeling too. <laughs> it's. <laughs> I really don't do that. So I know I yeah. said it. Yeah, this is our thing. I'll talk to you this morning. Why do I have to play around? I don't know why. Because you're always around. It's heat. Close. Yeah, now we're good. Now you can see how you go. I would say he's the absolute meanest to me. Chris is pretty mean too sometimes. I see he asked me who's the meanest to me. I said you and what? What? Well you don't pick up my calls. I know what? You don't pick up my calls. I think you called yesterday. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, never mind. Sorry, I'm sorry. Bobby's fitted. Yes. Bobby's fitted. <laughs> I typically do a sweep of the floor after everybody leaves in case somebody left any of So that was what I was doing. Now I'm just bringing the coaches back down. Take off on the first bus. Um, we got the truck here, first bus. Um, everybody, everything that doesn't need to go to the arena, we'll put on the truck there. And uh, everything else that's going to the arena, we'll put under the buses. After that, when we get to the arena, um, got a lot of fans here in uh, Memphis supporting us, so that's that's pretty cool. Kind of maybe the most I've seen in any city. Um, let's go try and win a basketball game. I'll see you at the arena. It's just organizing um, a lot of the personals that came in, and, and then uh, you know all the bags here, the extra stuff for uh, any needs that arise before pregame, switching shoes out or getting another pair of socks, things like that. Um, and then once the game starts, I'll start to uh, kind of pack a lot of it up and start of the fourth quarter. Send the majority of these bags out to the truck. So post game, I have like. A handful of bags left that we uh, get out to the truck and then I send the truck early as I can so that can get unloaded onto the plane. That way when the buses pull up, we don't have to wait for the truck to unload. So it's kind of method to my madness, but it's been working out pretty well and I think a lot of teams try and do it too. So um, just trying to stay organized as much as we can and uh, ahead of the game as much as we can because everything moves so, so quickly. You spent the first half out on, the, out on the floor? Yeah, first half on the road, I, I'm on the court, and then, and then Eric will go out um, in the second half, and I'll be back here um, just finishing everything up and getting the bags out to the, to the bus. Brooke, Brooke asked me if uh, he could swap jerseys today, so I'm just making sure I'm not. Oh, yeah, we're. Hey, Scotty. Scotty. Yeah. I have lots of work jerseys. 
ready cleaned up some stuff in here and then me and Trevor do the switcheroo after halftime I'll go out and do most of the on-court stuff and Trevor will be back here getting bags prepped for the truck cleaned it up pretty nice in here thank you I try sometimes basically typically my kind of post game setup would be so it's like start of the fourth yeah start of the fourth quarter right now get all the players name plates down um, I get this shit, like, I try and place everything kind of in order so we can just kind of get all the uniforms and shirts and stuff in here, um, net bags in there, make a pile of the jerseys there, keep those separate, uh, they'll go on top of this, and then all the shoes in here, and um, I'll try and get this and this to the truck, and then I send the truck, and then... Um, the shower shoe bag right here, and this bag will stay. We'll throw that under the bus, the last bus. And um, when we get to the airport, we, we, uh, we'll just drag off the bus and throw it under the plane. So that way, basically the whole truck will be unloaded by the time we get there, which you know gives us a good head start because sometimes it can take 25, 35 minutes to unload the whole truck. So if we, if we hold the truck, then it's going to take us longer to sit on the plane and wait for that to unload. So. This is kind of the best streamlined process that I've kind of come up with that helps us out and gets us point A to point B quicker. What kind of like that? Yeah, we love getting to we love getting home faster. So that's it, really. I mean, it's it's really just right now. It's just kind of from right now until I get on the bus to go to the airport. It's pretty much it's pretty much nonstop running around just trying to get all the bags that I can to the truck and then all the other bags to the truck right after the game. So we try and get the players to get out of their uniforms quickly and sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't, but they all kind of understand the program. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. It's all good. Thanks for joining uh, myself and Eric and Anthony in the last uh, couple days, seeing a little view into our lives and uh, I'm gonna load the plane, finish loading the plane and uh, do it again in the next few days and go to Philly. Thank you guys.